सो हाई डियर जेमिनाय अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टेरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल अ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द जेमिनाय सन मून मीनस राइजिंग Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. And this is a reading from 11 till the 17th of March. I think I'm saying the dates right. Yes, and it's valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. Meaning, if you are dealing with another Gemini, then also it's valid for you. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. It's in simple plain English language with lifetime access and certification. If you want to start your self-love journey but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my ebook and workbook. Again, it's super easy to understand, loaded with a lot of information and it's super affordable too. So let's start. The link is in the description for both of these, okay? Okay, your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now, Gemini. Let's see. Nine of Swords. So someone is losing sleep over the situation. It's some kind of anxiety, depression, creating scenarios in their mind that might uh, not even be true. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. We have the King of Cups, the Fool card, and the Hanged Man. Someone is feeling stuck in the situation. They are emotionally stuck in the situation. They feel like having a breakthrough in the situation where uh, uh, both of you are going in a certain direction. But at the same time, this person is feeling like they can't do anything about it. Although this person feels a lot of love, a lot of energy towards you, a lot of this energy of I have lots of love towards Gemini, uh, and they definitely feel like taking some kind of risky decision here, taking some kind of risk in the situation. But at the same time, they are feeling stuck and they feel like they can't do anything about it. Uh, apart from releasing it and trying to, you know, get out, get over it or letting it go. Okay, something is kind of keeping this person very anxious about uh, the outcome of that situation. Or I don't know what is happening, but this is what I'm getting. Let's see. What do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, Gemini? We have the devil. So from your side, you might be feeling like this situation is very toxic. The whole scenario between you and this person is very toxic, and everything is kind of uh, messed up. Let's clarify the devil. We have the ten of wands, the four of wands, and the high priestess. Yes. You are in this energy of dropping this situation, dropping this idea of being in a long-term committed relationship with this person. Although you are thinking a lot about what should I do? Should I drop it? Should I uh, like uh, keep the hope alive, or should I do something else? So, for those of you who are already already married to this person, you are kind of not able to understand whether you should drop this marriage or keep this marriage going, because the situation is becoming too toxic with each passing day, or might be some kind of third-party interferences there that is. Uh, Uh, influencing the situation a lot so uh, basically according to you this situation is very toxic there is lot of negativity there is lots of uh, uh, blockages in the situation and you are quite you are thinking a lot about the future direction of the situation what you should do in this okay yeah you are quite passionate about this person i don't see that you are not uh, you don't like this person anymore or there is nothing left in the situation but at the same time you feel like okay this is some kind of restrictive situation or this is some kind of uh, Situation where you don't know what you should do. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them, Gemini? The star. Their intention is to heal the situation. This person is feeling left out in the cold. This person is sensing the losses. They are going through some kind of losses, and they definitely want to heal the situation between you and them. Let me clarify the star. we have the 10 of swords the justice and the 4 of cups yes this person is thinking that the this person wants uh, this situation to be balanced out of confusion out of stuckness okay they definitely want to heal the situation because they know something unjust is happening or something unjust happened in the situation that was not right uh, it was a very highly imbalanced kind of a situation where everything fell apart because of some some like one of you felt like uh, doing something wrong one of you did something wrong or something unjust was happening in the situation simple this is the simple explanation 
they want to heal the situation they want to bring the situation back to normal or do the justice with the situation and get out of the stuck energies hmm? because they are feeling lost and confused here because of all this what whatever is happening here let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side gemini i think you just want to move on you are in this energy of being very very determined that slowly but surely i'm going to move on at the same time you are go you are in this energy of let, let's wait and watch physically let's keep moving on and inside of you let's wait and watch let's clarify the chariot We have the six of swords, the seven of wands, and the two of swords. Yes, you want to move on. You are in this energy of I'm going to block everything and everyone. That's going to give me this up in the air kind of energy. That's going to give me this difficult to deal with kind of energy. Directionless, senseless confusion kind of energy is not working for me anymore. So I'm just going to move on. You are in this energy of, uh, of moving on towards karma, water, and finding your peace. You don't want to deal with anything stupid or anyone stupid right now, where your energies are being called for. confusion and drama and anything like that so you are like okay it's very difficult for a gemini person to make one decision and stick to that most of the gemini not everyone come on okay so because you being an air sign and twin you know gemini have two faces gemini have two energies so right now you are very much focused in this energy of no matter what i'm not going to participate in this confusion or in this drama any more no matter what okay let's see what's coming towards it till the 17th of march gemini I got your point. Noted, duly noted, and signed. Ace of Swords. Some kind of truth is coming. Some kind of acceptance is coming. Some kind of clarity is coming regarding a situation. For some of you, if communication is a problem, that communication is coming. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. we have the 5 of cups and the 8 of swords and the devil the devil was there in your energies the devil is there in this this outcome so something related to some kind of toxic nature toxic behavior toxicity regarding the situation something that's keeping you still keeping the situation so stuck and so painful uh like uh, it's going to come out okay something related to this stuckness something related to this toxicity is going to be there that you guys are going to talk about and you guys are going to finally accept the situation for what it is i don't see you guys letting it go i don't see you guys taking action to fix it it is going to be what it is but you are going to accept the truth and accept the situation for what it is okay because most of you right now might be not able to accept it for what it is or something is not clear so a very clear cut understanding of what's going on in the situation is going to be there in front of you then afterwards you will be able to decide what you should do and what you should not do but i do see as this energy of coming out of the mental jail coming out of this toxicity yes it's painful to cut uh, like uh, accept the truth and get uh, get this blunt and honest kind of energy but this is exactly the same energy that's going to set you free for the rest of your uh, for the next step of your life right let's see let's uh, see the guidance here the outcome is telling me some kind of truth is going to be revealed or you will be finally able to accept the situation for what it is and then moving forward with that acceptance and that that truth guidance okay you might be thinking that love is a risky game okay you might uh, get it or you might not get it but actually love love should be in this natural flow love should go in a natural flow if something or someone is test testing you again and again and you have to keep that something or someone in your life forcibly and you feel like okay this is love because for the sake of we had a history together we had a good history together for the sake of because i love the that person might be they are not in love with you or might be the other person is not good for you or vice versa so don't be in a relationship or in a situation ship or in a connection just because you are in love or you think uh, that this is the this is the only way love can survive love should be natural it should flow like water if it is not then it's not love then it's like a codependency or trauma bonding or just a bonding where you are just uh, dependent on the person for your own happiness so this is what i'm getting here so thank you so much for tuning in gemini i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste